Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be upgrading RAM on this Asus gaming laptop. And this is a DDR4. And let's go ahead and get started. This is the Asus Moto G513QY. And of course, the screw already removed, but you should be able to remove very easily by using a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and remove like one, two, three, four screws on the top. One, two, three screws right in the middle. And there are four screws at the bottom. One, two, three, and four. Once you have removed all the four screws, go ahead and open up the uh, back cover. I like to go in between the plastic here. There's a little gap. Go in between the gap and then use the plastic prying tool to kind of run across the back cover to separate the back cover. Okay. Now make sure you do not remove the back cover immediately because there are still cables attached onto it. So once you have, once you free the back cover, what you want to do is just gently slide it away from your body okay you do not want to lift it up because if you lift it up what happens is that you will break the two of the connector or two of the cables so you just want to slide it away give you enough room to go ahead and expose the uh, the ram you can disconnect the cable if you want or you can just jump right into the ram and start upgrading the ram Okay, so you need to peel this uh, this tape off, uh, peel it backwards, peel it back, okay, expose the RAM, and press the two metal clipper on the side, push it away from each other, and this RAM would pop at 45 degree angle, and just slide it out. Okay, to install the RAM is very straightforward. All you have to do is to make sure you align that little gap in the center. There's a gap on the ramp. Make sure you align it at 45 degree angle. Slide it in. Once it's in, you need to push it down in the middle. And the two little clicker would clip and lock it in to hold the ramp. Okay, there are two ramp slot. One at the top and one at the bottom. Okay. So you can upgrade to 8 and 8, that would be 16, or you can do 16 and 16, that would go up to 32 gigs of RAM. All right, if you're like me, without removing the cables, then you just have to slide that plastic cover back down, and that should be it. But if you remove that cable, then you have to just slide it in and install. Once you're done with that, remember all the screws that were holding the back cover. Go ahead and put it back in and you should be all set to go because the RAM does not need any configuration. Alright, if you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And again, if you really appreciate my work and want to support my channel, please click on YouTube Super Thanks where you can share your gratitude. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.